All right, so I'm in the middle of taking this apart. I've taken all the vents and everything off, and I got to thinking that tube TVs aren't a very common thing anymore, but Winnebago, of all the manufacturers, really installed these things really well, and maybe not too many people know how to take them off. So I'm going to make a, a video about this. It's fairly straightforward on this one. Uh, on the Adventurer series or your journeys or, or or your diesels you actually have to take this plastic trim base off too but this one you just take those uh screws off right there and this piece will come off there's two more down there but then winnebago also they have it bolted together with this crazy system that they've put together and it's a pain because the top bar that goes across, they use uh, double-sided snot tape, and it holds this TV really well. So I'm kind of going to try to help you guys a little bit here. I think it's a 9 16 bolt. I just use a ratcheting wrench to take that off. But the first thing I'm going to do is take this frame off, reach around to the back right here, unplug everything because... It's going to be hard to do when you got this heavy TV because this TV probably weighs about 50 pounds. And it goes to the, and the power goes to the back of the inverter right there. So, all right. So, try to get some of this stuff out of the way. And it looks like my, the owner went ahead and added that switch box. All right, and then. Lastly, is right here. That should be going to the TV. The TV just pulls on the back of the inverter right there. That's a little small inverter. What does it say? 130 watt inverter. So it doesn't power up too much. So the next thing we do is just pry these button caps off and unscrew it. Unlike most RV manufacturers, Winnebago never went full in on uh, square screws. Number two square or Robertson bit, there's almost always going to be a Phillips. Of course, it's almost and always, but 90% of the time it's Phillips with Winnebago. All right, so that's the last screw. And now we get that surround out of the way. This is actually solid wood. Winnebago makes all their own cabinetry. They're tooled up to make all their own parts, even their upholstery. So they make their own curtains, their own seat covers. So now you can kind of see this bar a little bit better. There's that bolt that goes through on each side, clamps it down. It's hard to see, but there's double-sided tape under here that holds tight to the, the TV. And I think we're looking pretty good sometimes. All right, so we're just gonna loosen these uh, bolts up. I got a ratcheting wrench here, and it is 9 16 And once we get it loose, it'll allow this edge to uh, pop up a little bit. All this does is clamp down on the TV itself. You can see how the frame's been bowed out from being clamped down. There's sticky double-sided tape on the bottom of it, so it likes to stick to the TV still. But we're doing pretty good. I think, I think we're about ready to pull this thing out. All right, so there it is on the ground. I mean, I would tell you how to put it back in, but honestly, you're probably taking it out so that you don't have to put it back in and put a new TV in. The new TV part is always the difficult part because, again, to their credit, Winnebago does a fantastic job building their front area right here. They have their steel, su steel super, st super structure 
all the way around here. So this is all steel. You put the, uh, what I generally just recommend you do is on the back side of here, I just get a piece of uh, uh, nice plywood, cut it to fit, put it on the back side of there, and then put the whole thing back in there. Then you have a wall, a plywood cover right here to mount the, the TV mount to. Do a hole saw to run the cables through, and that's the easiest way to do it. This is mounted to steel, and it's not going to go anywhere. New TVs are really light. That's what I would recommend you do. So there it was, removing a, t a, a, a tube, a CRT TV out of a Winnebago. Not all Winnebagos are identical. Some of them you have to uh, undo some clamps from underneath. But generally, they're all going to have a strap going across the top. Even the latest models, I think about 2010, they had a widescreen uh, Samsung CRT TV. <laughs> of all the things, they had a widescreen uh, tube TV. Uh, so they pretty much have the same uh, mount method there too. At any rate, hope that helps somebody.